Hello everyone, my name is Anton. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. Um, today I wanted to talk about tasks again. So previously I talked about tasks and how you could potentially capture your your tasks and, and activities in Obsidian. And I did it all from the perspective of the, uh, the desktop and I work on a Mac here. And I wanted to transition to how you can manage tasks on your uh, mobile device and then get those tasks from Obsidian into, say, a task app like Reminder. And specifically in this one, it's going to be Reminder because I've created um, kind of a workflow and some automation that gets your tasks from the documents that you have in Obsidian and into um, and into the reminder application. So in the previous video, we talked about a couple different ways of how you would outline your tasks either in a simple task file and you would use this notation here, um, leveraging these check boxes to check off your activities when they're done. And we also mentioned the day planner plugin as well where you can put in a timestamp and uh, the, the day planner will calculate the, the actual time it would take and then you can have a pane that shows a timeline or even put it in the, the, the preview here and you can see this mermaid gant uh, with a timeline here as well. Now if we go to our mobile device and what we'll use there is one writer. We'll see that we can we can leverage what we do here in Obsidian and on our mobile device and also get this information into the reminder app if we want to kind of add reminder to our workflow. So let's switch over to the mobile app here. And right now I'm in the one writer application and we're looking at the same note that we were looking at previously here on this screen. So if we switch back here, we can see that we have these tasks here. And if I want to get these into the reminder app so that we can get, you know, the regular reminders um, and notification with either day and time stamps on them. We typically have to uh, manually kind of take the each one of these tasks and create it in the reminder app. But in this case, what we can do in uh, OneWriter is they have these things called actions. And I created an action here that says um, add task to reminder. And if we go ahead and click on that there, it will bring up a list of the actual tasks that have not been checked off. And that's key with this particular um, automation that I kind of have here is that it only selects the tasks that have not been checked off. And if you just tap on either one of those, it goes through a workflow where it'll display the tasks that were in that list and then it will copy it to the clipboard and then um, execute a shortcut in iOS here. So this is a shortcut. The input to the shortcut has copied over the, the clipboard information from one writer. And if I click the done here, because these are the, the tasks that I want to, to import into Reminder, it will take those, run its process, and then it will import those into Reminder as we can see here. Now, what could happen here in one scenario that's, that is remedied here is if you rerun this again on this, this same file, you could start to get duplicates in the Reminder app but it does check for that and make sure that the, the, uh, the task that you have here, it checks for the same name, task, and reminder. And if they are there already, 
then it will not recreate a task that has the same name here. So that's one thing that's taken care of. Also, we can see here that if the task is created, what you can do from here, if you need to add a, an alert for, um, for one of these tasks for today or tomorrow, you might want to go ahead and, and add that in. What we can see here, as soon as I click in the title, that you get this suggested time here, a little below, right above the, the uh, keyboard. And that takes the time that you've put into the, into the heading there, uh, the title of the actual task itself. So this is pretty um, cool because it makes things a bit faster for you if you want to add dates onto, um, onto your task so that it alarm, you know, you get an alarm or an alert so to complete the task or at least start the task. So we can go ahead and go add that suggested time. It removes it from the, the heading. So the only kind of dilemma there is that if we go back to the one writer and we rerun that action, that you have the potential of recreating the, the task again. And actually, let's test that out because I have not done that myself. Typically, my workflow is that once I import it in, I will remove the task from the actual text file. So if we go here and run it one more time, let's see what happens. And we can see that it did create only the one task that we, we uh, changed the heading on. So we can go ahead and delete that one. Now, let's delete them all. And what I want to do here is switch back to the desktop and show that we can also from here, if we're going to, when we were creating these tasks in this list, you could also edit this file. And it doesn't have to be the day planner file. It can be any file. It can be the one here that I have for tasks. We can put in, let's say, 2100 here. And let's put tomorrow in the, in the title. And then we'll save that and switch back to the mobile device. Let's go back to OneWriter. And what we'll do is look for that particular document. Now we can see here that it did, it has the changes, but in the preview, the one that I changed, um, it's actually done. So what we want to do here is let's undo the checkbox there. So it's not done and let's run the action now for this one. And if we run the action, it gives us a list of the different tasks. The, the one that we modified has the 2100 tomorrow task one. And we have the other examples that we put in there. So it goes back to the shortcut. It lists the, the actual task out again. And you might see this notation where it shows the 2100 tomorrow task one and then it has a pipe sign and then undefined. The undefined is where we capture the, the heading for, for this actual task. And I'll show how that actually works in, the, in a different example here. So let's go ahead and click done. And we can see now that the tasks have been created. So if I wanna add a time to that first one there, you can see when I click in there, it now takes the, you know, the, the wording tomorrow and the time, and it suggests that as something for us to add the reminder for. So I can click that there and it adds a reminder for tomorrow at 9 PM. So that's, that's really good there. So let's go back to the, to the document here. We will 
actually let's leave that one and we'll remove the other two go out go back into one writer and what we will do here is let's add some headings to this document so we'll come here maybe I'll just put tasks for the first heading here then for the ones below it we will put activities and we'll leave it as such here let's actually put a capital here capital task all right and it looks like we messed up our formatting a bit all right so now that the, the document has been modified, we've added headings for our different tasks. And what you can do with these headings is that you could have in there, maybe instead of task and activity, because this is kind of redundant, we can say, um, because that one is for tomorrow, and maybe for the activities, we can have these in here for today. And then what we can do here is we can add the, you know, a timestamp in these 1400. And then maybe for the project here, we'll have 1500. And then a space. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the action on this now it shows us the the different tasks that we have in that document and let's go ahead and run this okay so it brings over the headings as as we've seen before but this time because we have a heading it doesn't show undefined so we'll click done It'll create the task and then it will bring us into the reminders app. So now that we're in the reminders app, you can see how we have the, the headings in the title here of the note. So again, this is really just to kind of help you as you organize your, your tasks in your documents and your files. Um, you can have headings where the, this can kind of remind you where these tasks come from from within your Obsidian Vault or any of the documentation you might have there. As I mentioned, these are using shortcuts. Let's go into the shortcut just to see what that looks like. And we can see this shortcut is not too complicated here. It takes a text input. This input is um, the default answer here for this input is from the clipboard. So it automatically inputs the information from the clipboard. And then what it does is it does a split on the information based on the comma. So the comma is the delimiter of the information that's put in the clipboard. And it does a repeat here on each, each um, basically note um, separated by the comma and it goes through each of those and then it does a find in your reminders app where it looks for that name and it keeps repeating one by one if it does not find that task name in the reminders then it just adds the task in the general list with no alert and it does that until it finishes through the the comma delimited list and once it's done with the all all of the tasks in that list it opens up the reminders app and you get to view your reminders from there
Now, one thing to note when you're doing your task and and when you're you're kind of putting in the the timestamp and whether you want to use this particular formatting and reminder to easily set the the alert on it. You basically put in the timestamp if you want to put either tomorrow in there um, or some other date you have to put it after the timestamp that's kind of the best way to do it because the reminder app will erase anything say in between so if you put 20 dash uh, the 2100 and then you put tomorrow at the end of the the actual heading anything in between those two will be removed and then you'd have to rename the task itself again so that does kind of defeat the purpose of easily inserting the alert because then you have to go ahead and manually type in a title again or the name of the uh, task but that is the the only thing I've kind of seen here using this particular process that that becomes an issue let me know if you want the to see the actual code in the add task reminder actually I'll go in there now just to show it here but um, if you want me to maybe copy and paste this here into the channel so that you can easily get to this and use it yourself um, just let me know and also if you would like to see a more in-depth build of this particular shortcut uh, let me know if you like me to maybe just start fresh and go one by one and add the different elements in here so you can see how this is done but it's fairly easy if you've done any shortcuts just looking through the video here you can just slow it down and walk through the steps and do this on your own okay so if that was helpful to you go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day